Hello everyone and welcome to another PGR2 game night this time from the 10th of March and we are starting things off today with the Grand Touring Series. We did actually start in the Compact Sports Series but I did miss the first few races so decided to start recording at this point and uh, quite a few people in the 575 to start off with and uh, already I made a mistake straight off pretty rusty Noel flies into the lead and we've got PRG as well making an appearance overtaking me there into second place and I think we have a couple new players today we've got Yerick behind us as well so all piling into this left hander here and I do overtake PRG and then Yerick overtakes me into second place Noel still in first at this point getting a bit raucous around here that was a little bit aggressive from me but Yerick did go wide as well, so he did leave this space. And then Noel's sliding a little bit there, getting caught on Yerick as well. Lots of nonsense going on around here. Very hard when these, these uh, tight circuits to keep it clean and not trade paint. But uh, make it into first place. And uh, I think Noel's still in second at this point. Nice and tidy around there, though. And across the bridge, and Yerick is actually now into second place, 1.5 seconds behind. So it's uh, quite a close battle there between second, third, and fourth, I think. Now I'm doing this bit fairly tidy as well. So back onto the straight, and I am opening up a little bit of a lead now. Crossing the line and waiting for second place which is now PRG 1.9 seconds behind and that was actually all that happened from my perspective managed to uh, to keep the lead for the, the rest of the race and we'll see who actually did finish in second PRG did hold on to it 5.6 seconds behind Noel came third Yerick fourth Renton new player in fifth Prodimus as well in sixth uh, Jay in seventh and Alvaco in eighth there so moving on to uh, Stockholm now still in the Grand Touring still in the 575 Prodimus is in the 550 now. And Yerick starts ahead. So we're in third position to start off on the straight. Before coming into a crazy hairpin, which never really ends that well. But we're on the inside here. Just about getting around the inside. Everyone's sliding. And Yerick actually making a move on the inside again. So he's gone back up into first place. Currently in second. So nice driving through here. Right behind him now. Just trying just to back off a little bit. Don't want to get too much contact there. And both nice and tidy through there. And I can hear something behind us, but we can't see it. So uh, everyone's dropped off from third place backwards. And both driving nicely through here. Again, just giving him a bit of space. And was looking for the cutback here, but it didn't quite work. So uh, just tucking in behind Yerick again. Three tenths behind him. Yerick's still in the lead at this point. PRG now in third. Just under three seconds behind. And Yerick just hit the wall there. So that opens up a nice little gap for us to shoot into first place. And that was a bit too slidey from me there. But uh, on to the, the main straight before the finish. You can take these at full speed in this car. So there's not a problem there. And across the line for the second lap, Yerick uh, seven tenths behind now. Still very much in the race. And this is a really bad corner by me because I actually went on two wheels there, just clipped off the kerb, and that really threw me wide. But uh, managed to just about recover that. But Yerick did gain some time through there. And nicely through there. Yerick dropping back now, 1.1 seconds behind at this point. And that was quite nice through there as well, nice and tidy. And Yerick still in the picture there in second place. And looking at the map, it's quite spread out at this point. It doesn't really look like there's anybody quite next to each other on the map. And quite tidy through there until it hit the wall, not brilliant there. looking behind uh, we are gaining some time on Yerrick here 2.1 seconds and that is how that one ended so nothing really happened from my point of view again for that one managed to grab another win so we'll see uh, the finishing order for that one 
Yerrick did manage to hold on to second place. Uh, PRG only a second behind him. Then Nolan fourth, Renton fifth, Prodimus in sixth, Jay in seventh, and Alvico again in eighth place there. So good race that one, and uh, that's it for the Grand Touring. So we're moving on to the Coupe Series. Uh, most people in the BMW M3. Starting in second, but Prodimus is in the um, Honda Integra. And uh, this is quite a small track, so it's not going to be the longest race. But we do move straight into first, obviously, because the Integra is not a very good car. So the M3 is able to cruise on past it. But uh, clipping the outside of the barrier and uh, bouncing off, that was pretty awful by me there. But luckily, there's a, a big fight going on behind me. So that's already opening up a little bit of a lead for myself. Renton in second place here, 1.5 seconds behind. And that was a really bad corner by me. Very slidey, just getting used to the uh, the M3. It's always going to be like this when you're uh, switching cars. We try and stick to the same cars uh, four races at a time. And I do like to keep the same car within those four races because it gives you time to get used to it the most and get the most out of the car. I don't really like switching cars every race. It doesn't really give you enough time to get used to it. But um, doing all right so far, coming around the last corner onto the start of the second lap not too bad through there at all but we have got a bit of a lead again and we'll see who's behind us it is Yerrick again 2.5 seconds but for the third race in a row nothing else happened so sorry to keep skipping these but um, there's not really much to commentate on so um, I managed to stay in the lead again Yerrick 6.5 seconds behind in second Renton grabs the third place there Noll in fourth Jay in fifth this time and Prodimus six. Ross Yossi is a, a new player joined, but he was in the mini for some reason. I don't think he had time to change that. But uh, again, in the Coupe Series next, Washington DC for this one. And it's a majority M3 race, starting in third, but we've got the um, Mitsubishi 3000 GT for whatever reason. That's in this race. And also the RX-8, which is another car that's not very good at all. And again, we find ourselves in first place early on. I'm getting quite lucky with these starts as well. Avoiding the mayhem. Got nice and tidy through there. And just clipping the inside of the wall. Not ideal there. But PRG's uh, made it into second place. Nice and tidy through here again. And I do believe, yes, I misjudged that corner pretty badly. Hitting the inside of the wall, so that gives PRG a little bit of a chance to catch up here. Bit nicely through there. And nicely through there as well. PRG 2.2 seconds behind, so he's dropping behind a bit. There are more races later on with more action, don't worry. The first ones are a bit tame, but um, crossing the line for the second lap. 2.7 seconds ahead of PRG, so I, again, I'm opening up that lead a little bit here and smoothly around there. But again, that is how that one ended. Not much else to report. So another first place, having a good start to this game night. And uh, PRG just grabbed the second place. Uh, Yerrick, uh, one second behind him. Noll in fourth, Rent in fifth, J sixth, Prodimus in seventh. And Gross Yossi didn't finish that one, I don't think. But uh, moving on to Florence, and we have a full lobby of M3s, and Sakis has also joined us. And Prodimus, for some reason, we don't know why, but he was getting a head start in these races. Some sort of connection issue. We are a bit baffled with that, but um, yeah. He gets like half a second head start on each one, but uh, starting in third place and just coming out of that corner, still in third place. Sakis just ahead in second. Taking up corner nicely. Prodimus in first place in the M3. And all taking that nicely. Coming onto the straight. But we and Sakis are in the slipstream here. Trying to find some room. Just backing off slightly here. Don't want to cause crazy pile up. But a gap just opened up on the inside, which I tried to go for. Didn't quite work, but Prodimus goes wide there. So me and Sakis fly through into first and second, respectively. So just half a second behind Sakis now. I'm taking that very tidy indeed. Just uh, the right point on the apex, not to go on two wheels as well. And right up behind Sakis now, coming onto the second lap. A little bit of a gap opening up to third place. And Yerrick is indeed in third place, 2.2 seconds behind. 
And then Sakis just power slides to a little halt there. So managing just to get him on the out, on the inside, sorry. And also here, understeering massively. That was quite a bad corner by myself. So Sakis goes straight back into first place. But I'm in the slipstream now for this straight, at least. Three tenths behind him. And come around to this corner, which is quite hard to do. But luckily, did that quite nicely there. So actually going to go round the inside of Sakis round here. He might have missed a gear change there or something. And taking that nicely, using all the width. Sakis following the line exactly. Two tenths behind. And there is what I mean about just going too close to the apex. Going on two wheels, stopping me turning, hitting the barrier. I'm getting a massive boost from Sakis behind here, so I'll take that. Going on to the third lap. Very close here. Four tenths behind, or just under four tenths. Sakis in second. And a little bit slow through that corner, but good enough. Sakis still right on my tail here. And there's someone still in third place. That's possibly Yerrick, we can see. And taking that corner pretty dangerously close to the barrier, but just about working it. And also that one. A couple corners there, very lucky, but Sakis not so lucky. Does hit the inside of the wall there, slowed him down. So we have a, a bit of breathing room here. 1.6 seconds ahead. Looking nice so far. Nice and tidy through there. And once more through there. Sack is still 1.9, so we're driving pretty much the same at this point. And run round the final corner, coming on to the final lap. And again, Sack is 1.9 seconds. We are literally driving exactly the same speed for the second half of that lap. Round that corner. Quite slow for myself. Sakis possibly did that, did that quicker than me there. Nice and tidy through there, though. And again, just missing that barrier. That's two laps in a row. I've been quite fortunate there. Cutting it a little bit too close, but nevertheless, fairly quick. But Sakis has gained a tenth on me through that section. And nicely through there, using all the width available. Cutting back across. And nicely through there. And I did do that section quicker than Sakis. So I actually uh, gained three tenths. So 2.1 seconds now. On to the final corner. So a very good race that one. But uh, one mistake was the uh, the deciding factor with that one from Sakis there. So managed to just about stay ahead. Two seconds ahead, I think. Yes, two seconds. Yerrick grabs the third place there. PRG in fourth. Noll in fifth. Renton sixth. Uh, uh, Jay in seventh. And Prodimus in eighth there. Good race in that one, all in M3, and uh, same for this one. But this is a bit of a bit of a crazy start, as you can imagine, on Edinburgh. It always is. But Prodimus gets his little head start, as usual. Again, quite strange. But we're in third place here, behind Noel. And, uh, yeah, this is a pretty dirty start, this one. Lots of paint being traded in this one. And uh, do manage to go around there quite nicely, but then all hell breaks loose on this corner. It's about seven... Well, everyone's in the pitch now. All eight cars around here. I bash into the inside of the wall. Pretty bad from me. Someone gets pinned. Prodimus goes wide. Managed to undercut Renton. Then tried to have the, the cut back on Prodimus as well. But we sort of get stuck on each other a bit there. And uh, <laughs> so many M3s behind. It's a picture of absolute mayhem. And uh, was going to get through there cleanly. But Prodimus crashes. I get crashed into... Everyone's piling past. Null and Sakis go through. Prodimus still in the lead. Yerrick goes through as well. There's five of us in this tiny space of the track. And just about managed to go on the inside of Yerrick. A bit of argy-bargy, a bit of paint trading. Prodimus gets spun off to the side. So it ends up me and Sakis get free of that slightly. Yerrick just behind as well. Just easing off here just to not hit Sakis. Yerrick clips my back end there. And going around here, I do actually clip the inside of the wall again. Very slow there. Yerrick darts up the inside. PRG is also on the pitch now. He goes up down the inside. I go around the inside of Yerrick there, giving a bit back. And um, just a bit wide there for me. So PRG gained two positions there, slots into second. Um, Saka's still in front there. 
And there's someone just behind Yerrick in a yellow uh, M3 as well. Through here quite nicely. And I didn't really... On that corner, I keep using the handbrake, but it's not really the best thing to do. Quite slow. And Yerrick goes around the inside there. Practically the same move as the last lap, but uh, reversed. And we both crossed the line pretty much at the same time. PRG just pulling away in second. And I've very nearly spun out at this point. Lots of paint being traded. And then I hit the inside of the wall again there. Go around here. Again hit the inside of the wall. And then I'm not sure what happened there. I think that was a combination of me turning right and Yerrick turning left. And we kind of get stuck on each other. But I come out in third place. So an absolute mental race so far. PRG three seconds ahead. Sack is comfortably in first. Can we do anything with the lap and a half remaining? So nicely through there again. Gained a bit of time on PRG. And Prodimus has actually overtaken Yerrick there. He's into fourth place. And nicely through there. And PRG did actually make a bit of time back on me there. He gained a few tenths, I think. Yerrick back into fourth. And hard corner to do that one, but I managed to slide round and whip the car back round for this one. And again, sticking quite close. Did go on two wheels, but managed to just about get away with it. Reeling PRG in for this section. I've gained 1.5 seconds through there, but there's only half a lap left. And we are dropping Yerrick as well, who's in fourth. around this section really nicely there gained another half a second but then again on this corner for some reason I don't know why I keep tapping the handbrake it's slowing me down massively and uh, that's not going to be second place for us that is going to be second place for PRG and Sakis in first I grabbed third in there so not too bad after the mayhem of that one quite a damaged car there but Yerika grabs fourth place Prodimus is fifth Noll in sixth Rent in seventh and Jay in 8th place. So, another M3 dominated race, but a good one and a crazy one. But that's it for the Coupes. Moving on to uh, the Extreme Series, Yokohama in the F40. And Nold's in the um, the Ascari there. Yerrick in the F50. I think someone's in the Porsche 599 there. Prodimus it is. PRG's also in the um, Ascari. Sakis in the F40 and Renton in the F50. So, a good mix in this one. Managed to slip up into third place. Try and go around the inside of Sakis there. We both move up into first and second. In the black and yellow F40s. Clipped the wall a couple times there, but managed to come out relatively okay. And just mis misjudged that slightly, but managed to do okay. Sakis pulling away a little bit now in first. Got the yellow F50 behind in third. And that is Renton. A little bit tail happy through there. Again, getting used to this car. Very quick, obviously, compared to the M3. And I do that corner fairly well. Just clipping the wall slightly. But uh, gain some ground on Sakis there. Coming across the line onto the second lap. Four tenths behind. Renton drop back now. 1.8 seconds. Very nicely through there. Gained a lot of time on Sakis there. Right behind him now. Coming up to this hairpin. Both through there nicely. And through there. I think Sakis lost control a little bit. But regains it nicely. Only two tenths behind. Very close this. Both pulling away from third place. Much better through there this time. And I am in the draft. And did get a better exit as well I think. Just slightly so. Able to just slingshot past him into first place and take that one fairly nicely as well a little bit slow through there I did click the inside of the wall probably most is actually going backwards at this point which scared the living hell out of me uh, when I was doing this live but uh, yeah onto the third lap four tenths ahead of Sackers this time Nice into this corner again. And a little bit wide through that hairpin. And Saka's probably clawed a little bit of time back there. 
That was okay through there, though. Five tenths behind, so pretty close still. There's Prodimus again coming around. And then I make an almighty mistake. Absolutely smash into the barrier and take Sakis out in the, in the process. So uh, that's um, allowed sec uh, third and fourth to catch up, which was Renton and Yerrick. And then also another little collision happened there. And I think that was Yerrick that came off worse. But that was a, a mental section. Very bad mistake by me. And Yerrick is indeed in third place. Leaving Renton and Sakis to fight for first. But uh, they're still in sight, so we've got something to aim for. And then I think also <laughs> Renton did crash into the wall there, and Sakis was again the victim of that. So he's had a very unlucky race, crashing into two others that have crashed. I think that's what happened there anyway. So um, we slip up into second place, and Yerrick's find himself in first place in the F50. And it was going so well, and I was starting to reel him in a little bit, but then I made an almighty mistake again. Second one of the uh, race, not qu quite as uh, catastrophic as the first one, but still pretty bad. And it meant that um, Sack is caught up slightly. He's two seconds behind, and uh, Yerrick is just two seconds in front, I think, at this point. And uh, 1.6 seconds of both, actually. So I'm catching Yerrick, and, and Sakis is catching me. And three there, okay. But it's not going to be enough. And Yerrick is going to take the victory there in the F50. Crossing the line, I get second. And I think Sakis gets third there. Not very fair on him, to be honest. But, um, oh well. Is what it is. Renton gets fourth. PRG in fifth. And Noll in uh, sixth place. Bodemus in seventh in the final. Well, actually, he was going backwards, wasn't he? So he didn't even finish. But um, one more race for this part, I believe. Chicago this time. And um, I think most people are in the same cars. <laughs> Midtown Madness uh, decides to reverse off the line, because why not? And um, in seventh for the first corner. Bottom are still in their 959. I've just been a bit cautious through here, because obviously the first few corners are mental. But then I did get, did get caught with some lag, I think, because... PRG did lag a bit forward after that, so I'm not sure how that looked on his screen. But uh, demoted back down to seventh. But taking this corner on the inside quite nicely. Pass Prodimus, pass Null. I think PRG just lagged out there, or quit, one of the two. And um, up into fourth place now then. Yerrick in front uh, with the other two, and I'll make a horrendous mistake again. That corner is one of the most difficult in the game to get right I think very very difficult but round the hairpin we can see the top three so we've still got a chance and not too bad round there cautiously round there but able just to get around the outside of Renton so up into third place behind Yerrick just under a second Sakis must be in first place at this point in the F40 does that nicely. Go a little bit narrow on that corner though, but managed to uh, rescue that corner. And over the hub of the apex, quite nicely through there. And Yerrick does clip the wall there, so we are able to get into the draft, and obviously the F40 is quicker in a straight line anyway, so we fly past Yerrick into second place, so can we chase Sakis down? Doing that corner much better that time. Quite nice through there, actually. So, under a second behind Sakis. Six tenths up from Yerrick. And not too bad through there. So, we are clawing Sakis in. And nicely through there as well. Into the slipstream with a good exit. We're able to slingshot past him across the line onto lap number three and just able to overtake him before this corner but I did break a little too late there and Sakis did a nice little cut back there back into first place and again over the hump of the apex so Sakis pulling away again in first place Yerrick uh, still in sight in third place but nicely through there for myself 
get a really good exit there, so clawing some time back on Sakis. Into this horrible corner again. Not quite as good as the first time, just giving Sakis a bit of space there. But uh, getting a better exit, I think. Just managing to go round the outside, but um, let him get the inside there. So he had, he had the racing line. And side by side through that corner, Sakis manages to get the better of me. And again, both pretty much in the same place as the last lap. But I'm in the slipstream, so I'll have a little bit of a boost again. Going for the same move as the, um, the previous lap, this time breaking earlier, so I can actually get the racing line and cut off any opportunity of a cutback there. So up into first place on the last lap. Over the hump. And we do that a little bit better than Sakis, who drops off slightly there. And also quite nicely through there as well. Now coming up to the horrible corner once more. A little bit too narrow for the entry there. And that was quite slow, just about not hitting the wall. But Sakis did that quite a bit better than me there. And he is eight tenths behind at this point. Anything could happen for these last few corners, and I did that really slow as well. So he is just behind me still with the final corner. But we have just about done enough to get the victory there. That was a really good race, that one. And I do slide to celebrate, but nearly actually cocked that up. <laughs> it just about rolled over the line sideways, and uh, Sakis gets second there. Yerrick in third. Renton got fourth, I think, in the end. Uh, Noel got fifth. And Prodimus got sixth place. Still in the 959, actually. But um, that will do it for part one, guys. And I'll see you for part number two.